Hello, in this video, I would like to talk to you about an exam called Pearson Test of English Core, PT Core, uh, particularly for people who are trying to pursue their opportunities, immigration opportunities for Canada. So there is an exclusive exam called PT Core, which is also out of 90 points. And uh, Hyderabad School of Learning also offers uh, you know, PT Core training in two different uh, formats. One is uh, we offer you this coaching live online. We have classes morning and evening that can match with the different uh, time zones. And we have also a mobile app wherein we have recorded our sessions and people who do not have time to attend live sessions can also uh, um, register for mobile app so that you can listen to our sessions, practice um, you know, questions in our web portal. So I would like to take you through, you know, the four modules that we have and what kind of questions we have and uh, how each question contributes to the other uh, modules. Before we go into the modules, uh, this is how the scores uh, are. CLB level seven means what uh, from PS and uh, maybe CLB level seven requirement is what first of all. So people who are pursuing uh, uh, Canada immigration may have different score requirements. People who are living, maybe Indians living in Canada, maybe they have gone as a student, they would like to um, pursue immigration. So for them, they don't need too much of a score from CLB. They, they can still go with a CLB 8. Uh, but of course, you can find out from your consultant and uh, find out and then, you know, accordingly, you can try for this score. But usually CLB 9, but otherwise CLB 8 also is sufficient for some people uh, because there could be you know, per ability, there could be some points like 5 or 6. So de depending on that. So people who are living maybe outside Canada, they most likely need a CLB 9, which means in speaking, you have to get a minimum 84 and listening 82 minimum, reading 78 minimum and writing 88 minimum. So you need not worry about writing also 88. That is easily achievable. And so this is how the form, format of the exam is. PT core exam format uh, looks like this. So we have uh, uh, four modules. Of course, your exam starts with uh, giving personal details, which is um, not scored though, but we have 30 seconds to record our response. It gives you 25 seconds to prepare also. And the first module happens to be speaking just like PT academic and then followed by writing, then reading, then listening. So for speaking module, we have around 30 minutes approximately and writing module, we have got around 19 minutes. There are two questions in writing. Reading module, there are five questions approximately 30 minutes, five question types I'm talking about, but you may get around 15 questions also in reading. In writing module, there are two questions. Each question is a uh, question is separately timed. Listening module, we have got seven different questions, and one question is separately timed, and the other six questions are separately timed. We'll I'll take you through that. So we offer you coaching for each module, and we will let you know how to uh, scale up, how to meet your CLB eight or nine, and we'll have an intensive uh, training uh, sessions. Uh, we will ensure that you know you uh, get what is needed in order to meet that score requirement. There are, uh, let's come to this uh, exam format in speaking module. So anyway, self-interaction does not take much time. Uh, maybe 30 seconds you can record your response. Speaking module has got overall five questions. And of course, there's nothing called overall time uh, in speaking module. Approximately, you may finish the entire speaking module in around 30 minutes. But there is time per question. That's a different story. So when we come to speaking module, we'll talk about it. Writing module has got two questions and uh, one question has got 10 minutes. The other question has got 19, nine, 9 minutes. So totally around nine, 19 minutes you can spend. So speaking and writing module, Pearson calls it part one. So they have uh, allotted, uh, they say that, you know, we may take around 50 minutes time. Reading module is called part two, according to Pearson. So there are five question types and you may get around 15 questions in the exam and approximately 30 minutes you might spend in reading module. When it comes to listening module, there are seven question types and PS, and there are uh, two sections. One section called summarize uh, spoken text, you know, you will spend around eight minutes and we have section two wherein we have got around 22 minutes time. So let's go to module wise. In speaking module, we have got uh, five different question types and those are called read aloud. That question contributes to speaking and reading module. So these are the two skills in this question uh, which are assessed. 
we may get around seven questions repeat sentences also uh, the two skills that are assessed are what speaking and listening you may get around 10 questions in describing image a question this questions uh, yeah a question contributes only to speaking score and you may get around three to four questions and respond to your situation question contributes only to speaking you may get around one or two and answer short questions uh, contrib this question contributes to speaking and listening you may get around five questions and when it comes to writing module we have got two questions in writing one is called summarize written text question and uh, we may get one or two uh, usually one and 10 minutes per question and this question um, contributes to both reading and writing modules so in this question two skills are assessed reading skill is assessed writing skill is also assessed and in our training of course we'll let you know how read how we can get points from this question to reading how we can get points to from this question to writing so these question these things you know will be discussed at length and there is another question called write email and you may get one or two questions and per question nine minutes if you get only one question nine minutes and if you get two questions extra nine minutes right so but this question contributes only to writing score then reading module we have got five different question types those are called multiple choice single answer multiple choice multiple answers reordering the paragraph fill in the blanks drag and drop fill in the blanks reading and writing from these five questions there is only one question called fill in the blanks reading and writing this question contributes to what reading and writing uh, modules because uh, in this uh, two skills are assessed and from these five questions you can expect around 15 questions maybe 13 14 15 and usually pearson gives you around 30 minutes overall time for reading module we have uh, uh, overall time and coming to listening module we have uh, seven different question items section one we have got summarized spoken text and two skills are uh, assessed in this question uh, listening and writing module uh, listening, uh, listening and reading writing skills are assessed in this question and we have an overall time of eight minutes if you get one question eight minutes and if you get a second question then another eight minutes extra will be given to us and when it comes to section two we may get around 14 15 16 questions from these six questions and um, you may have around 20 plus time 20 plus minutes time and when it comes to multiple choice multiple answer that contributes only to listening score which fill in the blanks also contributes only to listening score unlike a pt academic multiple choice single answer only to listening select missing word only to listening highlight incorrect word question contributes to listening and reading uh, score right from dictation contributes to listening and writing scores so we are definitely uh, you know qualified to teach pt core and uh, we have uh, you know proven track record in pt academic and this exam is very much similar to uh, pearson test of english academic but um, you know there are slight uh, you know differences uh, maybe in terms of uh, number of questions uh, there are the uh, right marking and this test is going to be easier when compared to pt academic also because uh, this is going to be very general the topics that you find in this kind of test are going to be general so you can be part of uh, the training to know more about uh, you know, how to meet your score requirement because uh, in our training sessions we let you know how uh, let's say the uh, let's say our uh, responses will be assessed in each module so that you can meet your score requirement of maybe whether it's a CLB 8 or 9 and we'll also uh, in our classes itself you know we will assess you and let you know where you are strong where you are still struggling maybe what is the area of concern and how to make it a strength and we have a source to practice in our web portal we can practice questions and we can take a mock test and score mock test all that so see you for trainings